If you want to be able to add a multiple file appeal field to your WooCommerce single product pages, this video is for you. And the good thing about this feature is that you'll be able to upload your file just by dragging and dropping. Or you can easily go ahead and browse to get your files. And you will be able to allow your customers to upload whatever number of files you want. At the moment, I have 0 of 100, which means my customers will be able to upload up to 100 files. So if this is what you want, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. To get started, we are going to install a plugin. And this is the plugin we are going to use that is drag and drop multiple file upload for WooCommerce. I'll just go ahead and copy the name of the plugin. I'll also leave a link to this plugin in the description down below. I exit from here. Next, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. Under set plugins, I go ahead and paste in the name of the plugin. I have it right here, drag and drop multiple file upload for WooCommerce. I click on install now. It is installed, I click on activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. Now if I go to the front end of my website, I will just right click open link in a new tab. Then I open any of my products, maybe this. You see that I have the drag and drop files here feature right here which means I can easily drag and drop my files here to be uploaded or I can go ahead and click on browse files in order to upload them. At the moment it is set to 0 out of 10 which means I can actually upload up to 10 files. So now let's see it in action. I have about 10 images here. So first of all let me just drag and drop one file and see how it will come up. You see the upload in action and now it is completed. And you see that I now have 1 out of 10. Awesome. Now let me go ahead and upload the rest of the files. So I'll select all except this one. Then I go ahead and drag and drop. And you see the uploads in action which is pretty fast. And now you see I have 10 out of 10. Which means I will not be able to add additional files because the maximum is set to 10. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up, it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. Alright, let's continue. Now if I add the product to cart, I can easily go ahead and check out. Right here, I have all the files I've uploaded. I'll fill in my billing details, then I go ahead and click on place order. Alright, the order is in place. Now if I go to the back end of my website, then I hover on WooCommerce, click on orders. I have the order right here which is still processing. I'll just go ahead and click on it. And from here, I'll be able to access all the images that are being uploaded by the customer. So if I want to download a particular one, I can just right click on it, open link in a new tab. I have it right here, right click, then I go ahead and click on save image as, then I can save it to whichever folder I want, I'm not going to save it, I already have it, I exit from here. So similarly, if you want to download the rest of the images, you go ahead and repeat the same process. So it would have been better if WooCommerce could provide a simple button where one can easily click in order to download all the files at once. But not to worry, you can easily have your files since the customers will be able to upload them and you can also access them from here. Now let's see more settings with regards to the plugin. If I go over to WooCommerce, then I click on settings. Right here, I have file uploads. I click on it. So this field contains some of the text that we see at the front end. Now if I go to the front end of my website and open any product, maybe this one. You see that we have drag and drop files here. That is what we have here. So if you want to change it, this is where you can do that. Maybe I want to say upload files here. I scroll down, click on save changes. 
then I go to the front end and refresh. So instead of drag and drop files here, we now have upload files here. So if you want to change it, this is how you can do that. Going down. So the rest of the fields, you can go ahead and deal with them as you want. Now under error message, these are the messages you see. For instance, when you upload the wrong file or when the size is too big, these are some of the error messages you can see. You can also go ahead and change them as you want. Going down, we also have upload restriction. At the moment, the file upload field is not set to required, so users can upload their product to CAD without having to upload any files. So if you want to make it a required field, this is where you do that by just ticking the yes upload file is required. Now if I scroll down and save the changes, then I go to the front end and refresh. If I add the product to CAD, you see that file upload is required. So I definitely need to upload a file before I can be able to add the product to CAD. Awesome. Going back, scrolling down, you can also go ahead and disable the file upload. And when you do this, it will affect the entire products you have on your website. So if I save this now and go to the product page and refresh, you see that the file upload fields is gone. If I open any other products, I go to the shop page. I'll go ahead and open this and this as well. I just want to show you. Let's go there. You see that the file upload field is not there. And it's not here as well going back i want to untick it then i go ahead and save the changes now if i go to the front end and refresh you see the file uploads field again awesome awesome but if i don't want the file upload field to be shown on this particular product how can we achieve that you can do that by editing the single product you don't want to see the file upload field so when you are on the product page just go ahead and click on edit going down i have file uploads just select it then make sure disable file upload is enabled right here then go ahead and update now let's view the products and you see that file upload field for this particular product is off but you'll be able to see it in any other product so whichever way you want you can set it as required i exit out of here and here as well going back to the settings page here you can perform some additional settings for instance if you want to increase the number of files users can upload this is where you can do that remember at the moment it is set to 10 so if i enter 100 the next field i can also set minimum file upload i can enter 5 which means that it is a must that users upload 5 images before they can add their product to cart next is supported file types these are the various file types the plugin support at the moment if you want to be able to upload any file type this is where you enter that Remember, this is just a placeholder. So if you want to enter whatever file type, you need to make sure that what you are seeing in the placeholder is added. So I have JPEG or JPG, JPEG, and make sure you separate everything with comma, PNG, comma, GIF, comma, SVG, comma. Maybe you can allow your users to upload PDF files. So PDF, comma, or doc, if you want them to upload word documents i'll also enter docx next we have woocommerce options this is where you can show the file upload field in single product page or checkout page however it should be noted that if you want to see the file upload field in checkout page you need to you need to get the pro version of the plugin since we can upload with the free version we just go ahead and choose single product page and finally we have show before so you can show it before the add to cart button which is what we are seeing at the moment you can also show it before add to cart form variations form and single variation whichever way you want i'll leave it as it is then i'll go ahead and save the changes now if i go to the front end and choose any products maybe this 
you see that right here i have zero of 100 which means i will be able to upload 100 images now i'm going to go ahead and upload only one file let's see how it will come up i click on browse files i'll go ahead and select this open it is uploaded and i have one of 100 i click on add to cart let's see what will happen please upload at least five files so you see that users will not be able to add their product to cart if they don't have a minimum of five files uploaded so let me quickly add additional four all right open you see that i now have five of hundred i click on add to cart and you see that it has been added to cart now let's see if we'll be able to upload a pdf file or a document before i do that let me set the minimum upload to one or i'll just take it off i save the changes going back i click on browse i have a document here i select it it is a word document i click on open it is uploaded i add to cart let me quickly go ahead and check out click on check out going down i place order the order is being placed now if i go to the back end and go over to orders i have the new order here which is still processing i click on it and you see that i have my word document right here i can easily go ahead and click on it and it is being downloaded right here awesome so that's it on how you can add multiple file upload field to your woocommerce single product page now if you want to add a file upload field to the checkout page of your woocommerce store make sure you stick around to watch this video on your screen right now keep watching and i'll see you there